What's going on, smart people? Today is the day that I have two finals. Two, not two difficult finals. I have a final in my uh, art history class and a final in my programming lab. Oh, God. Sorry, it's early. I'm feeling really comfortable with this lab final that's coming up. It's at 7.10 at night, though, so it's... I think it's about a two hour or so lab final, so I'm gonna be there pretty late. The only thing I wanna go over before then, the only thing I'm still a little fuzzy on, is we had this one assignment where we had to read in a file, uh, save certain information in that file as an array of structs, sort that data, and then output it to another file. So I just wanna make sure that I can do that entire thing from scratch without having to look up any you know pre-built functions like sorting. Um, and then it should be good. But if this video, this video might be a little late today, and that's because I won't be home until like 10 o'clock because I'll get out of my lab final around like 9.30, I think, and then it's about a half hour drive from ODU back home, and then I'll also have to edit the video for today, so. But the next clip will be me home from school and ready to talk about the exam. Did, did that work? Probably nailed it. Those two exams were easy peasy. Here, I'm going to change. Look at me changing things up. Now you're not just at eye level, you're a little raised up. No, but I took those two exams today. One was my final for art history, and one was my programming final. So I think it goes without saying I was a little bit more focused on the programming final, so I made sure to study a lot for that. The way that I studied was I redid all of the labs that we had, and lo and behold, each of the three questions was basically the lab questions. Like one of the one of the lab questions was create an array of structs and in the structs have things like someone's name, uh, how many hours they you know work out and stuff like that. And then it wanted you to sort that by year or not by year by hours in descending order, uh, and then like output that stuff to file. And on the exam you just have to do it in ascending order. So it was like, it was the exact same problem. But that just means that the only things I have left for this semester are a paper for my English class. Um, I have the actual in-class final for my programming class. So this one was the lab final where we, we actually had to code and stuff. This next one is a paper test where it's like, if someone wrote this code, what would happen? Like a bunch of that, which is actually kind of annoying. Uh, and then I also have my quantum final. I'm not sure which one will be the hardest. Okay, that's sarcasm. Obviously, the 100 level English class is going to be the thing that gets all of my focus. Oh, and I also have the exit exam tomorrow. Also, I just realized that earlier in the video, I think I was like, by the way, this video might be late, as if you're going to see it before it comes out anyways. But I'm going to get to studying for this physics exit exam, that way I can actually graduate. Um, I think I'm going to take you guys with me tomorrow for that. It's not just going to be featuring this door the entire video tomorrow. Lucky you. But to end the video, I'm going to show you a clip from a friend's YouTube channel who's in SPS. We found, we found out that he used to make YouTube videos and some of them were sort of magic related. So I'm gonna show you that because I really want to embarrass him. Okay, watch me this open. Open, sloping. Oh shit, it happened. Watch me make it close. Close, hose. Shit, I did it again. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section if any of you guys have an exit exam at your university. I'll see you guys there. And remember, if one door closes, you just gotta tell another one to open schlopen. <laughs>